intelligent man from the Madagascar movie once said, I like them big. I like them chunky. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Because this box is freaking fat. I honestly, I think this is an awesome assortment. Like, first off, let's look at the promos really quick. Look how beautiful those both are. And you get the jumbo of an equally beautiful card. There's so much detail on the background. And this one just looks almost godlike emerging from the crater. You get a crazy pack variance. You get two other random GXs, which I'll go into in a second. It's a hefty box. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> that being said, I'm going to start breaking into it. But uh, I, I went to Walmart to pick this up like about a week ago now. And like, you don't know, Walmart's now at the point where you can only let 20 people into the building at a time or so. Actually, no, no, it was right before that. That's right. Because the lines were still horribly massive. I had my mask on. Those, I was risking it going out. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I waited a good like 20 minutes in line just to get to the checkout with this thing. And then I got up there and she scanned it. And she was like, 50 bucks. And to that, I kind of sighed, but I was like, man, I just waited all this time. I am not, I repeat, I am not going back <laughs> to pick up something else. So I committed. So I figured this has to be its own spectacle of a video because like, man, there's so much to this box. I'm going to move that off to the side and we're going to do the promos first. Let me just make sure I get the uh, stuff out undamaged. Code card for the box. And then, oh, wait, the, what? I, I didn't even know this. I, I, I saw people online saying that there was more promos. I didn't know this is what they meant. Okay, so we have a random Leafeon non polo rare for some unknown reason. Cool. So Leafeon, we have a Glaceon as well, as to be expected. Also, wow, very, very cute. Okay, <laughs> I wish these were actual hollows. I don't know why they didn't do that. These are adorable cards. And they're just promos. I don't think these are from a set, are they? And, okay, okay, so we do have one actual hollow in here, which is the Reggie Gigas, which oh, you can't actually check for swirlies. Sorry, didn't get a swirly. Did last night on a, so I started live streaming to uh, Instagram live. I just did one to like check out to see how I felt about doing it. And it was uh, kind of fun. And it was good for like the smaller pack openings when I just get random singles. Like, and I, it's not really enough to make a video. So, you know, maybe expect more on there. I'll try to be more diligent on actually commenting when I'm starting them in the future. But uh, yeah, if you want to check that one out, you know, actually, I don't know if it saves. Might re-upload it or something, but it was fun. We pulled... Actually, I'll show the cards in a second, just in case you missed it. Got the Eevee GX, which has that classic bland background, but I do like the texturing of it and the shading around the Eevee. Cute card. Man, there's so many promos. Okay, I'm going to start stacking the promos, just because there's too many. And when I start opening packs, this is going to be a lot of maintenance. So there's that. Let's get into the next one. Sorry, I'm just like... It's easier if I take it out off-camera. This is actually the reason I bought the entire box. Is it worth $50 to buy this box for this? Probably not, but if you really want some, like, I mean, you get eight packs, so it's a pretty good deal, and this card's beautiful, but I don't exactly know if it's worth 50 bucks to me. Uh, the card online, I think I checked, is worth around, like, four-something at the time of me recording this. That could change. And then Caracosta's here, which I'm fine with, because I like him, but why? <laughs> why? What does he have to do with this box at all? Because what is it called? It's a Tag Team Powers collection that has nothing to do with anything. I, I literally don't understand. And then our last card is the Dark Ryan Umbreon in the Night City Streets. Super beautiful. Don't know much this one's going for. I personally like the other one better, but I'm grateful you get both. Wait, do they give us question? Do we get both the jumbo cards in here? I, honestly, the stuff in this box might make it value out closer to what it's worth, which is 50 bucks. Oh, sorry, this is just the, the waiting on this box is so freaking weird. All right, we're just going to slide them all off here. Sorry, you had damaged the jumbo. Shoot me. No, you only get the Dark Ryan Umbreon in the Jumbo variant, which is very big and cool. I'm going to put this off to the side, kind of in frame, because uh, it's too big to fit. But you get that, and then Pax is very plentiful. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just, we're going to go in order of set release, if I remember this right. So Evolutions. Can I see the warehouse? Can somebody send me the warehouse of Evolution Packs that they're still putting it in product, going into Sword and Shield era stuff? How many are left? I want to see it. Nintendo, put out a picture, Pokemon Company, whoever does it, please, like, just, just show me. Show me the goods. So Sun and Moon Base, which would be next. Lost Thunder. Celestial Storm. Looks like we get two Cosmic. Very nice. And then two Sword and Shield. And that's your full stack of eight. Let's start breaking into Mitsu we can get. But uh, before anything, yeah, so uh, if you want to start watching stuff on the live stream, pulled these two beautiful boys yesterday. So excited about the Sableye, but the Victini, I might actually work in a deck, so I'm kind of glad I have him too, but like, man, that full art. 
is beautiful. The flame in the background is awesome. And actually, one of the viewers from the last video from the giveaway commented saying that it was his favorite card. I completely understand why now. That is a beautiful background art. Well, because a lot of the full arts in uh, Sun and Moon were pretty boring. Like, for example, like I'll just, I know I'm prolonging it, but like going back to that Eevee, it's kind of static and they kept reusing it. Boring as compared to like that. Because like, like, look how much more details back there. Maybe it's just the vapor aesthetic that I like, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna stop lollygagging and I'm gonna get into the actual opening. Oh, I probably should have sleeved those, but that'll waste more time, so we'll do that later. Open you first. All right, good old 302. And this should be the only pack I have to do this for because the other ones are modern sets. Diglett, Caterpie, Hollywag, Full Heel, Switch, Blastoise Spear Link. Oh, <laughs> Starmie Break. I don't think I've ever had this card. Very cool, very cool. Uh, it's not the best, but I'm a big fan of the breaks. I love the gold cards. And it's a normal Arcanine. Regular, rare. Um, yeah, I'll sleeve that up. Actually, I'll probably go back through and sleeve the rest in a second, but dang, look at that. Before the outro, you'll see that I've sleeved them. So don't worry, They're, they will be in good hands. First hit, oh yeah, right. <laughs> it's a green code, because that wasn't in the rare slot. Yeah, breaks weren't appreciated. Most of those cards in the reverse rare slot are. Character cards I thought were great. Prism stars were, oh, okay. Wasn't too much pizzazz to them, but I still enjoyed pulling them. I, I wish that they were worth a little bit more money, but it's probably because you really can't play them as like a mainstay in a deck, and since most things are valuable because, you know, they are playable in modern sets, they just don't get the love they deserve. Oh, I did the 302, didn't I? <laughs> did I already pull the rare? I don't know what I did wrong here, what I did wrong here. Energy, what was the rare in this? Wait, Hello? Who was the rare? Hello? Oh, oh, it was the Cos... Oh, yeah, right. Cosmoem is a rare in this set. I completely forgot about that. What a joke. Oh, yeah, right, right. I gotta start pulling the rare cards out, which I will put over here, and then the reverses will go here. We have a lot of stack maintenance because there's a lot of stuff for this. And I guess I'll evaluate out those promos that come with the Leafeon and stuff, even though I don't know why they're a part of this. If I'm being honest. Anyway. Lost Thunder. Which we already pulled the... <laughs> The Lugia GX, which is freaking or yeah, GX. Yeah, GX Rainbow Rare. My god, what a beautiful card. I was so I was so thrilled when we pulled that. Alright, don't mess this pack trick up. So uh now I'm kind of just doing a thing where any duplicates you see me get on here or in general, I'm going to start selling on TCG player. I can link that in the description and whatnot. I right now only have one card up, but if you'd like to buy it, I, I know I'm a new seller, but I'd like to start testing out how it works. And getting into it, and I swear I will get better, but I already have a strategy for taking good care of the cards to get them to you. So if you could help me out, that'd be super awesome. And if you want some cards, I can, you know, if you mention me in there, I could even throw a markdown price just because I'm still early on trying to figure out how to do it. I'd be happy to work with you guys on any of that and like help you guys get some cards for your own collection. While at the same time trying to figure out how to run a card selling business, because I have no clue. I'm not a business major. I am a computer science major, which gives me some insight, but not nearly enough. Work with marketing people. That's pretty much the closest I get. All right. Energy, Scyther, How, Matang. Oh, Don Fan from the uh, old Neo sets, I believe. I don't think I've ever pulled this art. It looks very starkly contrasted against that. Don't mind the phone. I have a landline still. Isn't that crazy? That should stop, probably. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move the rares up here because it's easier to slap down in that stack there. Put those off to the side. All right. Let's get into Cosmic. Yeah, that's really been the innovations with me. Like, I, I okay, I, I know quarantine and everything's going on. I have been very, very productive since this has all started and doing a lot with the channel and, and going through that giveaway with, uh, you know, Vintage Pokemon 100 Bros and everything. It's been, you guys have been giving me so much love and I really appreciate it. You're making life so much easier to get through by keeping me engaged and keeping me working. And I want to work to give back to you guys. Hence the reason I'm doing all these live streams and everything else. Oh, Marsh. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I've never pulled this one either, but it's a common rare that I've wanted. I like that he's kind of like hanging out in Pikachu's shadow. It reminds me of the, the movie, which was, I don't, I think it was, oh no, did I mess that up? No, I didn't. I watched that movie and it was kind of like showing Ash like in the real world without Pokemon. And it was really like, I don't know. It just kind of made, it, it felt real for some reason. I wonder if I could find that clip or what movie it's from. I'll put it, I'll put the name on the screen if I can remember it, but like, Man, that movie hit hard. I think it was whatever one involved Marsh Shadow, but it just like, it was Marsh Shadow like, giving Ash kind of like a fever dream. It was creepy. But, uh, kind of moving. Not too. Trapinch, Sveal. I hope I've been doing good keeping these in frame. I really don't know <laughs> if I have been sucking or not. Wait, hang on. What is that Zangus art? 
Oh, I've never seen this. That is dope. I'm going to put this aside for Saray. That might be a card I'd get her to do a full art of. Go, go, on her, go on her Instagram. Go get a full art card. You won't regret it. Zatu also doing the spin. Why does everybody do spins? Claydol had that. The ball toy has that. I guess the Zatu now. A lot of spinning Pokemon arts <laughs> in these recent sets. But uh, we've been on pretty, pretty bad at dry spells since Evolutions. Right, yeah, we do even get an actual hit besides... No, oh, wow, this is a broken box, but... Sword and Shield is really what I want stuff out of, because I haven't pulled much out of this set, still, I feel like, even though I have. <laughs> I still, I've never pulled a VMAX card yet. Maybe this will be the day, but I still have yet to see a VMAX card in any variety. Only normal Vs and V full arts. So, let's hope that this can change that. Yampy, Skorupi, Water, Metal Sauce. Ooh, Quick Ball, love that. Mantine, Pinchurin, Reverse, and a Cramorant. Man, okay, all comes down to one more pack. I'm kind of glad I didn't open this on Instagram live. Well, I guess it would have been better because there's nothing in here. But I hope I could at least show off the contents of the box and, I don't know, convince or discourage you to buy this. I just say buy at your own risk. It's, you know, you get a lot of packs, but you could probably do better buying singles. If you really want the promos, then I say it's probably a good buy for you. But if you really do not care about either of them, which I don't know why you don't, they're beautiful. You know, this is probably the better bet. Or just buy singles online of it. I don't know. Gengar Reverse. Oh! <gasps> Marnie! Okay, never mind. This just paid for the whole box, I think. What the heck? Oh! Yes! Last pack! Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I just got really hit. My hands got sweaty all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> not These openings always never fail to surprise me. I'm sure none of you stuck around to see this. Oh, but if you did, give me some love in the chat. Oh my, yeah, chat, I'm so used to streaming. Give me some love in the comments. Oh, there's like weird, like, look at that. It has like a gradient when you move. That is so cool. I love these new rainbow foils. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's it, I guess. I am, I am a uh, Peter for Payday Pokemon. You guys have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you around. Enjoy the recap, which I think we might have busted $50 in, in value on this. I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, goodbye.